and that was it, you know, no touching, no make out, nothing. Basically arrived to my place and and yeah, she basically knew what's up. She just charged her phone, she reached my room and directly made out, man. Like, well, like nothing. Nice. Like, uh, yeah. Wait, is that the trick that you said that got naked right away? Or was yeah, that yeah, it was her actually. Yeah, yeah. She got naked right away. Like, she actually <laughs> knew what we knew what's up. Yeah, yeah. That's the funny part. What's up, everybody? John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Here we are with Sam. He's an advanced friend uh, visiting from France. Uh, he was in Poland for the long weekend. There was a, a bank holiday here. It's a weird term. We say holiday, vacation, what do you say? Yeah, I guess holiday in the States, too. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're gonna tell a couple quick stories from the weekend. He ended up banging three new chicks. Uh, it was a two night game. Yeah, then one third date and two, uh, let's say, yeah, two night games, yeah. Two, okay. night, two from night games, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so before we continue, please like and subscribe if you haven't below uh, to be updated about, press the bell button to be updated about my new videos. Uh, five days a week, Sunday to Thursday. All right, so I'll let you take it away. So basically, the, the one cool one that, that he told me about was the, um, at the end of the night. So it was like 3.50 in the morning. Yeah, it was like over, around, over yeah, it was like over, let's say, 3.50 in the morning. I was basically leaving another club, which was kind of, let's say, we didn't find any good leads in that club. So I was basically walking alone from uh, that club to uh, another place and in Poland, a big street that had many clubs and bars. And I see this, rocking, this girl walking alone. So I'm like, okay, I have the two choices. Either I'm heading to the other places or either I'm opening her. And or the third choice is to pussy out, which most guys Exactly, most yeah. Guys most guys would pussy out <laughs> and just like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's you, said like, you approached her because you said she had like a big ass? Well, she was basically <laughs> slim, about eight. 180 180 meters which is about my size and I'm like okay most guys would pussy out because you know opening a girl at four it could be kind of creepy so I'm like okay let's try this you never know so I just open her she doesn't stop at first then I re-engage her and after like two seconds she just pulls her ear in like okay I'm trying to listen to you mm -hmm. so basically she gets more and more invested after a few minutes and I tell her, look, uh, what, are, what are you up to now? And she's like, I'm just going home, you know, I'm here for vacations, I'm here, uh, I'm here for, the, for the weekend, and I'm basically going home now after clubbing. I'm like, well, we can get some drinks before we just get, get back to your place. And she's like, yeah, but I'm going to my place, and well, I have time, so we can do this. So uh, back and forth for walking, and I was looking for a bar because I didn't know the sea well, and I couldn't find any. So. So at one point, uh, she tells me, where's that place? I'm like, um, look, it's not that far, just keep walking. And she's like, look, we can go back to mines. I got some Malibu. And I'm like, okay, how far is it? And I look on her phone, it's like three kilometers away, 3.8 kilometers away. I'm like, uh... And my, what is and it? Was like two miles? Yeah, mine was like one, 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 one kilometer, one kilometer, basically. Yeah, so, so, like, yeah, yeah. so the important point here is like, you want to basically get to either your place or her place fast yeah. as possible preferably your place because you don't know her particular logistical yeah. situation like she could have roommates that are going to cock block she could have fuck, she could live with her parents you yeah. don't you don't fucking know so you have to like try to make shit go down on your terms so you so you wanted to go to your house okay so. yeah it was much better actually going uh, to my house because i found out later on that she was sleeping in the same room with her friend in the small airbnb yeah see, which so, i knew was kind of shit so that's so that's like really, really important nice. for guys to hear because Lots of uh, guys that are newer into me, most of them aren't pulling anyways, but guys, once you get into a pull situation, a lot of them will just go, like the girl's like, oh, come to my house, and they think like, oh, okay, because the girl said so, right? So then they go, and then, like he said, it turns out she had friends sleeping in the same room, like the odds of that going down are extremely low, or you'd have like fucking weird bathroom sex, it was probably like knock, friends coming knocking on the door a couple minutes in. Yeah. Or you can't even get into flower anyways, which could happen as well, you know, it's happened to me a few times, like, when I was trying to pull back to chick places, I would actually end up getting to her door and not getting in. Because either I'm getting cock blocked by her friend or she basically doesn't feel comfortable enough with having another guy, yep. another person in the same room. You know? so yeah, I, yeah, I've told you before on other videos, me, me and my old um, business partner, like back when we were working in San Diego running programs, um, sometimes we would pull like two sets, so two chicks in regular person's terms. And they'd both be super into us and we had won, you know, we had won them over with our wingman and stuff like everyone's really good, all the vibes are great. We get back and they're like, well, I need to like check on whatever her name is. And then the other friends, like I need to check on her and like they're cock blocking each other, even though they both want to mm -hmm. hook up 
individually. So it's, they both just feel like the shame of the friend judging them. So, okay, so what happened? Yeah. So, you, so you took your, or how did you get her back to your okay, place? Okay, how did I get back to her place? So, uh, to my place, right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so basically I looked uh, that she lived kind of far, far away and she then asked, and I told her, well, that's kind of far, you know, that's like more than a half hour, maybe an hour walking if you're planning on walking. And because me and my idea was pulling her back to mine, so not to hers, because I kind of felt it without even asking her that her logistics could be quite shitty, so I prefer pulling back to mine, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which is much more better and even closer. So I kind of convinced her in a way, telling her, look, uh, my place is one click away, so one kilometer away. So either we're walking back to yours in the cold at four, or either we can, ba we can get back to my place in like, what, 10 minutes? And Did you suggest it? calling a taxi or an Uber? Uh, yeah, I kind of suggested that, but I didn't want to take any risk like waiting for an Uber where she can yeah. kind of, you know, freeze out and rethink her decision and get back and revert back to getting back to her place, yeah. which is kind of shit. So, so yeah, I told her, look, uh, I live a clamor road, you can go, we can go that way. She, uh, sure, but my phone is almost dead. And so basically I pulled out my iPhone charger, look, I got a charger, so no problem. And you got drinks? I'm like, yeah, white wine. She's like, okay, let's go. And that was it, you know, no touching, no make out nothing basically arrived to my place and and yeah she basically knew what's up she just charged her phone she reached my room and directly make out man like well, like nothing nice like, uh, yeah. wait is that the trick that you said that got naked right away or was yeah, yeah it was her actually yeah, yeah, yeah. she got naked right away like she actually <laughs> knew what we knew what's up yeah, yeah that's the funny part nice Okay, and she had lost her friends, or what? She was by herself. Well, yeah, she was all by herself because her friends. Uh, she was in another place, uh, in a, um, uh, in a, in a big street in Poland called Novishwat, and they left the club without her, so she was alone. And she tried calling her friends and texting her friends uh, multiple times. The friends that she was sharing their B and B with, and she was not replying. Her friend. So she was kind of getting, uh, you know bit anxious and she didn't have the keys to her flat her friend was not responding so i'm like okay look just come with me you can do whatever you want you can stay with me <laughs> or basically you can bend over my yeah. house exactly <laughs> uh, she kind of knew what's up yeah no resistance nothing no more she got naked right away nice okay so that was one of them um i thought it was funny that when we, when we first met up on on thursday night yeah. uh, out of the club he had said that there was a chick, how long did she, there was a Tinder chick that had come to his house, but you weren't there. And she, yeah, I wasn't there because my flight got delayed and she basically <laughs> waited me for two hours outside. <laughs> it's on my phone. Like, More differences between Eastern yeah. and Western women. Actually, in Ukraine, they only wait like 10 minutes for you. But yeah, in Poland, this chick waited two hours. Two hours. Yeah. I fell asleep the other day when I had a coffee date with a chick and I woke up like an hour and a half later and, and she had waited for like an hour. And she had taken like 45 minute uh, transport to get in as well. So she had killed like... I guess like two and a half hours. I felt bad, and I was like, "Sorry, I fell asleep." And she's like, "It's fine. Like, you owe me a coffee next time." Wink face, and I'm like, "Wow, cool." <laughs> like, I thought that would have blown it out, but well, my chick was kind of down to meet me after all. And like, I told her, "Look, uh, I had to make up my excuse, you know, because I didn't. I wasn't longer. I was on vacation because I know that would blew off and scare chicks away if I tell them tell them I'm on vacation." I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, when you're traveling, you're always a local. I told her, "Look, I just got off work. I had too much stuff to do." Let's meet up, uh, yeah, let's meet up later, let's meet up 11. She was like, what, 11? I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. She said, okay, fine, I need to get ready and stuff. And then finally she flaked, she said, look, I can't, I'm tired, I'm sick. I'm like, all right. So yeah, basically we met the, the second day. Well, she turned out to be a huge bitch. Oh, really? Yeah, because... Uh, Did you bang her though? No, I couldn't bang her. She wanted me oh. to pay her a drink, like, I... I went into a pub. So that's not even one of the ones you banged. So that, that no, was like one no, you had a potential no. to bang. Even. I had a potential to bang, um, but she was kind of, you know, she's kind of weird. Like when she arrived, she was like a pretty backed off, which was strange. And from waiting two hours. From waiting two <laughs> hours, first of all, and she, and she was a bit pissed. And when so yeah, basically I was sitting down in the bar, taking. I bought myself a drink before she arrived, so we don't like uh, make fights over who pays who, who pays for who. And I was, I was talking to her, like, um, told her, look, you're not getting anything, you're not getting, taking a drink. And she's like, oh, are you paying it for it? I'm like, no. And she's like, okay. <laughs> and she left? Yeah, she just left. She just to start, I'm like, okay, I'm done. She just start taking her stuff and just <laughs> getting, leaving the fucking place. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'm leaving before you, I'm not paying your drink. Okay, so wait, let's go to the other, the night night game uh, poll you had. So you Yeah, the night game uh, poll, yeah. Uh, it was on a Saturday night. Uh, I left after I pulled a chick. Uh, well, okay, that night, that Saturday was kind of nice because I actually managed to pull a Polish chick. 
which was quite she was quite reluctant to get back to mine after a good date you know she didn't want to go to my place at first by text so i had to reschedule it and make a normal date outside well which isn't a big problem for me because i already pull checks from dates no big problem and uh let's say after 20 minutes i made out with her she was getting a she wasn't really putting her tongue in everything, so I had to make her a bit more horny, horny, you know. Uh, she, she could accept and more, more things. And at some point, she suggested me to join me and her friends uh, in this, you know, the center of Warsaw. There's a big, huge tower. There's a club down. She wanted me to join, join her and her friends there. In my head, I knew this would be done, you know. I would, be, I would have been done. Like, as soon as we join her friends, like, I'm cooked. Like, no way, no way she's, she's banging tonight. So I suggest her, look, we can grab wine and go elsewhere, which could be much more cozier than going in a noisy nightclub and walking the cold. She's like, yeah, but I'm not sure. And she's like, are you going to back to your place? I'm like, uh, no, no, it's not, my, not exactly my place, but something like that. She's like, and then she had this hard forced uh, no, uh, no, for, no sex on first day rule. And she started spewing bullshit on like how she, how old she's like, yeah, I'm 33. Um, I, uh, I have attachments problems. I never bang. I stopped banging dudes after on first date because usually they ditched me. <laughs> and I basically destroyed her frame, telling her uh, that uh, look, uh, <laughs> you know, guys could actually wait four dates, bang you, and leave you anyway. So what difference does it make? Yeah, so, that's what I tell girls when, when yeah. chicks are like, "Oh, I can't come back to your place because you might be a serial killer or a murderer." I'm like, first of all, you could kill me as well. Second of all, mm -hmm. like, if you wait three or four dates with me, then I could still kill you. And they're like, "Ha ha." And I'm like, you're watching too much CSI, aren't you? I'm like, don't worry, there's cameras in my building and security. And they're like, oh. And I'm like, yeah, stop being retarded. Yeah. And then they just come. Yeah, same ish. I had to give her reasons, more and more reasons each objection. And then you told her, like, don't worry, we don't have to have sex. Yeah, I basically told her, look, <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you really want to get the fuck out, you can actually run away, you know, from my car, no problem. <laughs> like, seriously, well, I'm just going to keep my shoes and my socks and everything. No one's going to get naked. You know? <laughs> Wait, so where did you take her? Because you, you told her you're not going to the house. Where did you, did you go to the house anyway? No, I took, I took a cab straight to my flat anyways. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, what did, but how did you... So you're like, okay, don't worry, we're not going to go there, but then you just called it Uber to your flat? Or yeah, what? yeah, directly to my flat. And first she was like, uh, I'm like, um, what music do you like? Mm, I like this type of music. Okay, white or red? She's like, white. Well, let's go. And that was it. And, and it doesn't stop there because she was kind of, kind of putting quite a resistance, you know, in the flat. Well, to making out, she wasn't putting her tongue anymore. She was like, just using her lips. Damn. And I know when chicks do that, they're not comfortable yet to go further. So she was uh, hardcore blocking me. So at some point, I'm like, look, um, look at me in the eyes and swear to me. Um, and just swear that you don't have sex. Like, swear to me right now, you're not turned on, you don't have sex. She's like, it's not that I don't want to, but I really, but I'm not sure. And at this one, like, okay, this then answer yes or no, or you swear to me that you don't have sex. She's like, okay, yeah. And the basically threw her for him. That sounds like a good one. Yeah, I never tried that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I use that a lot when chicks are not sure and certain back, you know, when they're actually blocking you to have sex. Like, they want to, but they don't want to. And I just put them against the wall, like, okay, look, either you trust, either you have to swear me that you want to fuck. Or just tell me you're actually not turned on at all, and this is not turning you on, you're not hot, and you just want to leave. So, which one is it? It's like, mm, okay, you can have sex. Do you have problems? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll tell them, like, I mean, I can tell you the kind of chick that never, yeah, I mean, I'm like, I can tell you the kind of chick that doesn't, like, hook up on the first date, and, like, I'm not usually like that either, but I feel a really, like, close connection with you, and I feel like I want to see you a lot yeah, more. Yeah. And, I, and I feel like, you know, we could go on all kinds of romantic dates and I don't mind waiting four or five dates, whatever. But we're both really trying to want to do it now and I can tell we're going to see each other a lot more. So it doesn't matter if we do it now or later. So it's kind of, I used to, I think I wrote a post about this in 2012. It's kind of, it's called like importing comfort on credit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, she needs all this more comfort, but you're like, I can tell I'm going to see you a lot more. Like I'm going to take you to dinner next time, all this stuff. And, and so it kind of like imports this comfort building time that you have not. So it's like, fuck you, mystery seven hour rule. <laughs> but no, like, <laughs> But no, because I missed, it's, it's a qualitative amount of comfort, and you can literally import it on credit, as I just described, rather than a quantitative, like, his whole mistake by saying it's four to ten hours, I guess his four to ten hour range is, is allowing for the range of qualitative levels of comfort, but you can do, like, little Jedi tricks by saying, like, I can tell we're going to see each other a bunch more times, so it doesn't matter if we do it now or later. I'm okay with doing it now, where you take the buying, or I'm okay with not doing it now, take the buying temperature off, 
and then and, but then you're like, but I, you know, but I, we're like in the moment and all this shit, and then you go back to escalation. So, yeah. all right, so you banged her out, and then what, <laughs> what well, was the third? Uh, or is third, there anything else with that, with that last one? No, the last one, at some point, she... And she did, thinks you live here? Yeah, she still thinks I live here or something. It's like a big, like... You I think like, I'm gonna block her or something. Like, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna block her. I think oh, give, give her my number. I can do that. No, seriously, <laughs> there's two choices. Either I'm giving her a number away, either I'm blocking her, either I'm. No, because because she literally told you up front like, I'm worried about giving up the first time because guys ghost. <laughs> no, I'm, I like, think I'm gonna you make up. Fly back to France in like an hour. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna make up an excuse saying, uh, "Well, I'm sorry, I, had to, I actually got fired. I have to get back to my." To my place back in France, you know, <laughs> for my job, it's a job thing. Like you I did, tell, you I, can I also, did this last you time. You can also say you. <laughs> I seriously did this last time, man. No joke for two, for two chicks. Actually, actually, the funny part last time, uh, I did this to a chick that actually flaked because I was with another one. Uh, she, she actually came to uh, with her friends. She, she wanted to see me. She typed me. She texted me. I should title the video "Advanced Guy Scumbag Game." Yeah. <laughs> Scumbag <laughs> tactics to make you. Feel bad about yourself like, unless you have no. No, the funny problems. part about this chick that I flaked last time, she actually took a plane at some point because <laughs> we're texting. We're still texting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell tell us real quick, like oh, the yeah. summary. Like, well, he basically had a chick like down to fuck him. Last time he was visiting Poland, and they didn't get a chance to meet up, and then he got her to fly out to France. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Basically, I was already with another chick, and I booked three chicks on the same <laughs> time. You know, like okay, three chicks for the same night, and that I was still like with <laughs> the first one. You know, the first one was still banger, and two of them. One, one, one actually took an Uber and she was waiting for me. The other one arrived like 10 minutes after looking for me. She's like, hey, Sam, I'm on my where are you? And she kept texting me like the next the, the, the morning I see all her texts. <laughs> then I tell her, look, I'm sorry, my friend had problems. I had to, you know, I'm really sorry about this, you know, it happens. <laughs> then she stopped replying. Then she texts me again two days later saying, hey, let's meet up, you know, I thought you wanted to meet me. I'm like, um, actually, I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not in Poland anymore. I had to get, I had to fly back to France for work, you know, yeah. I'm really sorry about that. And yeah, I kept texting her back and forth, uh, sexting. She, uh, she started sending me her pics of her, like her backside and stuff like that. <laughs> so I kind of so knew what's up. <laughs> and at some point she got impatient and she's like, um, she's like, out of the blue, she basically booked a plane ticket. For nice. a day, to fly to play, uh, to France, nice. Just to get banged and fly and fly back <laughs> next morning, man. Yeah, I've had girls do that too. Yeah. It's pretty fun. It's like a fun little time together, yeah. and they just fuck off. Yeah, and she just fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking fun. Nice. All right. Well, well, let you tell. I think we're at uh, coming up on like 15, 16 minutes. Um, basically, basically, like the the key points covered here, or you basically want to like make the logistics in your favor. You want to. Say anything that will get. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I actually, don't want to say stuff that can actually blow the whole thing up. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, like in terms of like stretching the truth. I, I've seen in, in forums like that dude Tyler Dawkinson, who's like a, that's like his alias, and he has a fake picture, but he's supposedly pretty good at night game. And he he like commented on one thread, and he's like, a large part of my night game is built on lying, but I like fuck more guys or <laughs> fuck more guys. It's funny because I I troll him sometimes. Uh, fuck more girls than anybody. On here, I mean, not close to like our level, but he does like decent. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're, it's not about like you're, you know, you're really like being someone you're not. You're just it's basically Machiavellian. You're just doing little twists here and there. Like, like if you said to that girl, I mean, it's it's you know, from an objective moral standpoint, it's wrong. But yeah. if you said to that girl like. You know, I'm only in town for the night. Like, we're not gonna have a, a future together. Like, she wouldn't have subbed with you, but no, she would have stopped texting me. You did what you had to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, man. Same, so, same goes for age, you know. Um, same yeah, goes, yeah, your same age. Same goes for age. I'm know? 35 yeah. right now. My age on Tinder says 29, and like, I had a date last year with, with a chick that I had like a ton of chemistry with, and I was like, yeah, the only thing I lied about was my age. I mean, also now I also lie about it says Harvard University and. You know some other things. DJ, I <laughs> have the DJ at Tomorrowland green screen pick. I mean, those things are just amplifying. Like I am really smart by putting Harvard. It's a recognizable thing that conveys my values. Being smart, it's old school mystery thing with like the photo routine, where it's like this photo conveys that you're adventurous. I have green screen on top of like Mount Everest. You know, I, I can show I'm adventurous and and live life like crazy and stuff, which I do, even though I've never climbed a mountain. You know, so you can convey parts of your personality in an extreme way. I was a club DJ. I have a, DJ, a picture DJing Tomorrowland. So any chick that knows about EDM, they're like, oh my god, this is fucking amazing. And then they, they want to bang me. 
And I'm like leveraging like DJ Tiesto says, why not? Why wouldn't you? Jonah Hill's fat. My friend that knew someone on set with him said he was, he had stunners going out of his trailer. You know, why is it? Cause he's Jonah Hill. Why wouldn't you want to leverage status and leverage other things? And you still have to be the cool dude. Like they're not just going to fuck you just because of some status thing. You still have to be the cool, confident dude and I'll have all the other stuff in place, but that gives you an edge that why not, why not take it? Um, yeah. So yeah, in summary, uh, what was I, what was I, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah. Remember me to get that chick's number, the, <laughs> the tender chick. I'll be like, yeah, my friend's a dick. I'll take you out on some dates. <laughs> 33 year old. No, I'm not, that'd be funny to like bang her also and then leave, but I probably, I probably will actually take her on some dates if I meet up with her. Um, but yeah, like this is, you know, it's not, it's not all about like being a scumbag, but advanced guys are thinking about things on a, a certain level. So we've covered a bunch of, of advanced topics here um, about how to deal with different situations. Like you could have went to her flat, got cock blocked by the friends, the chick that needed yeah, the phone charger. Yeah. You could have went to that club with that chick and not pulled. Not and not pulled. Yeah. You could have told the other chick, all right, we'll go on a bunch of dates, but I'm not coming back for four months. And then you would have lost yeah. the lead. So those are examples of how to be radically honest. Speaking of which, we'll, we'll end the video with this. Uh, we, well, I didn't get, I didn't get the pleasure of seeing him, but you saw Mr. Chris yeah, Wilde from Mr. social Chris prime Wild and his, uh, whole crew, yeah. cringe crew. Yeah. Uh, you know, all the coaches and stuff, sending like a couple awkward students on fat chicks. And then he went and tried to brag, Chris tried to brag later about pulling a threesome with his girlfriend, but you saw the chick, you yeah, said she was like the chick and, uh, super busted. Uh, she wasn't like, she wasn't that ugly, but she wasn't that good looking, you know. You said, you told me like a six. Uh, yeah, six, like she was like one. See, six, the thing with, with Chris Wilde's Snapchat is he, he, he monopolizes the fives and sixes. Like all, most of the girls on his Snapchat are fives and sixes, and he has his girlfriend do the work. It's, you know, that she's not even hot either, the Budapest chick. And they're also teaching a whole bunch of incorrect principles and they should get the fuck out of Warsaw. I'm gonna make a social prime uh, deconstruction of how all their shit is wrong uh, some point in the near future. Oh, and I'd also like to announce uh, the roasts are coming back. We're gonna have hopefully a weekly roast. So we're gonna be hitting Fat Luke, uh, Julian, Max, Basket Up. Uh, basically, a whole bunch of people. It's gonna be fun times. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Sam. Um, I have a Ukrainian chick about to arrive that I blew off <laughs> before. <laughs> She's like, I was in the cab. Now that I like, look, now that I like thinking about all these like asshole moves, it's like, wow, maybe we're assholes. But we fuck a lot of hot girls, so it's nice. All right, make sure you like and subscribe below. Uh, more good shit to come. Keep your, keep your eyes out for the roasts. Those are going to be great. I always have a lot of fun doing those. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.